from this position, um, one of the hardest things, especially no gi, is like control. Like with the uniform, we have fabric, we can control the upper body, the lower body. No gi, if I stay grounded, oh. <laughs> so we're, we're in this position where there's distance. And how do we cover this ground? How does the person on the bottom gain control over me? He's working from the sitting guard, best ways to attack one of the legs, just from the standpoint of control. A couple of different ways we can do this. One is sometimes the person on top goes to enter in, they put a leg through, they're gonna enter knee cut. One of the primary things they're gonna do immediately when they put that foot down, knee to the chest, put him on his back, then I can start entering into the knee cut. So, if I don't do that, a lot of times he's gonna to come to me to try to secure the leg. He can scoot close, he grabs the leg, he can start to control, and it's gonna be hard for me to disengage. So we're, from a standpoint of distance, like there's two basic ways he can utilize his legs to control my leg. One is just like this, the legs are around. Generally speaking, you want the inside leg hooking the ankle, his backhand, or his, his uh, outside hand is posted on the mat, because he needs to maintain a circular motion. Every time I go to cut forward, he moves to the outside. This opens me up for counterattack, but most important, I cannot put his back on the ground. The one we're gonna work on today, he's going to put his shin across. So you notice his elbow and knee are tightly connected on the outside, and he's holding my knee, and he's instep to instep. This is really powerful because it keeps him anchored to my leg and it does not matter whether I go after him or he goes after me, he can segue into a really nice position to, to start to execute a reversal. If I go towards Keith, all he's gonna do is kind of dive underneath me, but he's gonna extend the hook on my foot. Right here. There's no torque on my knee at all. My heel's going to my hip. So you're not twisting or manipulating the knee in any way. But by elevating my foot that high, it's hard for me to keep my balance. And similar to the principles of the deep half guard, you see I'm posted, all he's gonna do is whip his knees around to the other side. And you, go, you work back and forth until you ground your opponent and you can get on top. You notice the entry is the outside leg, the knee's pointed out, but the shin is pointed in, and his elbow's wrapped around from the outside. So we maintain that elbow knee connection. This is very strong. If I stay in the pocket like this, you're gonna engage this arm, go behind the knee, he goes on his back and lifts my foot. The same thing, with enough torque, you just ground your opponent, and then he'll, when he disengages, he's gonna control the hips. Just make sure you control the hips first before you try to move to the upper body, okay? The nice thing about this position too, if I stay in the pocket like this, I have a good base. We know that the hand might be coming, so a lot of times your opponent will start to back up. This actually makes them more vulnerable to the sweep. Because the more I step back, you see in the ease in which he dives under, how it, it stretches me out even more. So when you move back, you're actually helping the person on the bottom. So we're going to take this in two forms. We're going to start here. Your partner's going to get into this position, outside arm, hug the knee tight, shin to shin, and I'm going to be kind of just static. You guys can do two different variations. I'm static, and I start to back away. This arm, if I'm static, is looking to get behind my knee. Heel up, and then we engage the knees. He can go that way, or that way. Then he can unlock and get on top. The other option, he's going to hold the same way. I back up. Which in my opinion is the more high percentage. When they step back, because they it gives the impression that they have good base, but when you dive, they're kind of opened out. And when you bring the heel up, you'll, you'll feel it. Your, your base gets compromised super easy. We're gonna start with that first, then we're gonna go into an entry from the butterfly guard to this position, okay? Any questions?
Let's go. One, two, three. The most common ways you're going to get in here. I'm inside his butterfly guard. And especially no gi, somebody that doesn't want to play in this position, they start to get out. They start to back away. So you have to have the ability to segue into another guard, another position. And you notice from in here, Keith's, his, his knees are already to the outside and his shins are already to the inside. What do I need to do to detach? I'm gonna move away and start to stand up. You just pick a side, either side. He wraps around the leg and because he has a butterfly hook already, it locks right into place. The only thing I always recommend you guys get in here when you practice, because this is a new position for some of you, just get comfortable with your entry. So you're going to come under and lift. More comfortable. No, 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 you're good, you're good. The more comfortable you get, the more you're going to find your side, like the way you're going to sweep your opponent. But the key here is like everything, your guard has to be first, meaning you have to attack. When you have somebody like he's, he's going after me. That's the only reason why I'm trying to get out of here. So when I start to stand up, he's gonna make his transition and immediately go after me. He cannot wait. He cannot wait. Don't get in here, go under, and then just like, okay, your move. It's not your move, it's one continuous movement. But we're changing the range from where my hips are right on him, where I start to elevate my hips and I move away. All he's got are the legs. Avoid trying to reach for the hands or the neck. Make your grips low. And you notice when he does this, you see how he's elbow knee? Very strong. Still elbow knee. Very strong. And then the immediately, immediate transition to that position. Okay, so you guys see how we did that? Whoever's on top, you can be like full butterfly guard. If you have a side, no problem. Or you can just pick a side. But whoever's on top, just kind of frame off the shoulders, half speed, like you're gonna to try to get away from your partner. Only you're not. Okay, any questions? You, you guys notice that no gi, everything you do inside nine degrees works. Everything that I do outside, maybe. That's why I noticed that when he touch you, Jay, nine degrees, his arms, his legs, everything. Everything that you go over, he always has a way to slip away from you. One more time, just wait to see it. Yeah. It's nine degrees or less. As soon as he gets out, look. It's a nine degrees on his arm position or less. His legs, nine degrees or less. Yeah. It works. But if you extend a little more, it slips away from you. Sure. You can do the same movement and get your leg a little bit further. The guy end up on top of you. Okay, keep in mind, nine degrees or less, work every single time. Sure. When it gets a little off, you will notice. That's why it did not work the position. Okay, pay attention on that. Do you have any questions? Awesome. You understand how the top person reacts, right? You just want to stand up and get away, and yeah. What's I, the best feeling in Jiu Jitsu? Submission. I actually have a quick question. At the end, how, how, how uh, intense you kick, you have that 90 degree angle. There's no kicking. There's no All kicking. you do is put the weight on the other leg. By extending the foot? Yeah, extending the foot. You put all the weight on the other leg, because what you don't want, sorry Keith, I have to do it if you want. What you don't want when I stand up, if he does not put any pressure, go ahead and go under, but he doesn't lift, my knee goes right on his chest. No, there's no kick here. But no. if he extends the foot, see? Oh, okay, there's a kick. You have to anticipate, just anticipate that the person on top of you is twice your size and they want to put the knee right it's on your like chest. you and him. Yeah. Somebody pull you on top, you're going to go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then as soon as you raise your foot, you off back. Correct. Yes, sir. Okay. We good, guys? Yeah. Awesome. Let's go. One, two, three.